Sensei, I am Atele Toka, Spear Alchemist for Tasker, and we're back with some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and this time, I want to go with Pauline. And what do I want to go with for the vehicle? Let's go with the Sports Coupe. So the Sports Coupe, of however you pronounce it. Let's go with Slick tires? Maybe not that. A communication error. Here we well. Go. Okay. This looks pretty good. The button tires and. I'll go with the super glider. Not sure what else to go with. Okay, we're spectating. And actually, something I want to mention. And and Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth who, who is on sale right now oh, for 10 bucks on the Switch eShop. It's the complete edition with both the original game and Hacker's Memory. Yeah, that's 10 bucks right now. Oh, and the sale has one week left on it. All right, so I copped that. That, that because it was a pretty good deal. Oh, 10 bucks for, for two, two monster taming JRPGs. And I also really liked Digimon as a kid, and so that's a plus. And I actually played quite a bit of it today. Hey, it's pretty good. But I'm definitely having a lot of fun when grinding and leveling up my Digimon. On building them up to where, where they can reach their next next stage of stage of digivolution. And they did actually call it that in the anime, or at least the dubbed anime, anyway. And we've got four sinners in this lobby. Four people choosing Baby Park. But yeah, I'm pretty much going in into Cyber Sleuth blinds right now. And oh look, another center. But I am definitely enjoying Cyber Sleuth so far. Oh god, we're on Baby Park. But yeah, I finished Ninja Council, and we're getting close to the end of Dia Field. So that long last. Truth be told, well, well Dia Field's kind of lost that's quite a bit of its novelty with me. I don't hate the game. game. But it's not quite as fun as it was starting out. And I know I said I've tried. I I do that one my mission. Mission at the end of the last video. Oh, that gave me trouble before. Or, but truth be told, that mission does still kind of make me nervous. It's just because of how many boss monsters in a row it has. I might just do that as an extra video. You know, go after the end. Ow. At this point, I just really want to be done with Dia Field. So I can move on, on 
into other games. And in a few weeks, I'm going to be starting on Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. And so that should be, be, be a good bit of fun. I basically decided that I will be be starting on my next big playthrough after Nightmare in Dreamland is done. Right, I'm kind of, kind of thinking about saying what it'll be. He he pretty soon. Mm, but not right away. Anyway. Hey, I might want to give it a little bit of time. Hey, maybe in a couple weeks I'll say what it is. Like... After the last Mario Kart video I do, before I start Nightmare in Dreamland. And... Dreamland. And I might actually reveal oh, what that the next big playthrough is going to be. Yeah. Because I do actually think we're getting close to the time where, where, where I can feel comfortable saying what it's going to be. Maybe because, let's be honest, I'll need to try to hype that big playthrough up, up once I start on it. Alright. Alright. It's because I am actually struggling to raise my viewership right now no, which is, is a big part of why I went back to the Mario Kart and also just because I genuinely missed playing it and I, and I had honestly feared before that I wouldn't need it anymore or, or, but I've kind of changed my mind there it's still fun to play this game. And so I'm happy to go back to playing it. So, yeah, I definitely want start promoting, promoting my playthroughs more are going forward. And I will reveal what the next big playthrough is pretty soon. In a couple of weeks. And I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone will think once I do reveal what it's going to be. Wow. I'm just not able to get any sort of progress in, in terms of positions in this race. <coughs> Sorry, allergies. Jeez, it's just that time of year. And, and I've also done enough smaller games, and, and I've got enough more lined up, up to where, where I do honestly feel like I can be content with what all I will have covered, covered on the channel in a few months. Just before we're settling back into who, who going through bigger games again. And, then, uh, and the next big playthrough is going to be one that I have been and wanting to do for a couple of years now. Well, I just hadn't had an opportunity to do so. Oh, 
And I'm just now noticing you know, that this one person in the lobby has a me of of Dodie Bishop from um, As Told by Ginger. From that one old Nick cartoon. And that was that was that was a, that was a little more more grounded than than the other stuff. Stuff like I've watched touch that before, and, and and it does actually feel like more of a character-driven thing in than other Nickelodeon shows at the time. And yeah, I was noticing that before, and. It was just on my mind while I was talking about, about all this other stuff. But anyway, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Second? That's not bad at all. It's actually damn good. Ow. And just as I, I, I draw attention to it, I lose it. That's just my luck. Insert foot and mouth. Second place back. This might actually be my race. Okay. We're on the last lap now, so that's good. Actually, now I should be nervous. It's because it's the last lap. I mean, races are always aggressive in this game, but the rule about how the last part of it being the most aggressive that just makes that, that, that even more so. Okay, I was able to finish in second. I still was able to maintain that, for the most part. Okay. So Cyber Sleuth is definitely going to be a game that I will want to put a lot of time into. Into I'll be playing that on my own time. And, and if all goes well, I would love to be able to, to play that on the channel because I'd love to have something Digimon related they had to show oh, on this channel. Oh, like some childhood stuff is a little more difficult. Difficult not to do for the channel, like Metabots, for example. I can have something to do on the channel that pertains to Digimon, and that would honestly be really cool. And they are actually working on another Digimon story game. Story game, and I kind of hope we'll hear more about that soon. Oh, did I really overshoot, overshoot that?
Oh well. Okay. I can still cover this. Oh wait. Well that doesn't make make things easier for me. There is also a fan translation for one of the DS Digimon games that we didn't get and over here. Or I think it was Lost Evolution. Honestly, if, we, if, we, if there's any older Digimon games I'd like to play. Any old Digimon games, but I I'm thinking they might be, be the DS games. And it's just because Digimon Story actually got started in DS. Over here, they tried to market the early story games. And it's just the Digimon World games. But they weren't actually Digimon World games. Because they were a really separate sub series within the franchise. I don't know why they slapped the Digimon World. They also did the same for a tie-in game thing based on, on the Digimon Savers anime. Okay. Okay. It was Digimon Data Squad over here. That's kind of whatever to me. I have set up the first 13 episodes. Because of Day Squad, caught on DVD. Oh, no. yeah, but I don't have the complete series of series of that. Uh, but I do know Discotech has been releasing, you seen the old Digimon Adventure series series on on Blu-ray. Hey, hey, I think standard definition Blu-ray, which is weird. But now, ah, well, oh, well, I would actually like to get a hold of those if I can. And and they only just us released is the dub of the Blu-ray for her Digimon Adventure Zero Two, and they have separate dubbed and subbed releases for for the first Digimon Adventure. I feel like they're probably going to do a sub release for Zero Two too. But actually, have of the Blu-rays for for, for the movies Digimon Adventure Try and Last Evolution Kizuna. Uh, and and Zero Two: The Beginning is coming out in in a few weeks. On the eleventh of next month, I think. That's what it said on the Crunchyroll store. Or I'm kind of fighting the temptation to pre-order that right now. Um, because if I do, it will actually put me in... Not the red, but close to the red. I am trying my best to resist. It's not easy. Okay. All right. I managed to catch up. So that's good. Oh, second place. Let's see what I can get. Just a single speed mushroom. It's something. Okay. Fire flower and speed mushrooms. Oh, and I lose them because of a lightning bolt. 
that is most definitely a fave. Oh, that must be the guy that fired off that bolt. I was doing so well, and then that happened. Now we're on the final lap. Okay. Speed mushrooms. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shells. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I hit somebody just as they 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 respawn back on the track. Okay. That's kinda of funny. I get hit with a red shell. Wow. Oh, that's some... Heck. Okay, one more race. This will be the last one. And I'm gonna go with Mario Circuit 3. I still got my McDonald's luncheon and one of my pies that I got with it today. I'll just have that while I'm, I'm putting this all together in post-production. And no sense in letting it go to waste. Plus, I ordered the Deluxe Crispy with some stuff added to it, and I do actually like that. a good course to practice drifts on. Um, I do actually like this course for that. Ow. Uh, Dodie had, had the bullet bill. And now I've got a bullet bill. Let's see if I can catch up with this. Oh, and got a star right after that. I could have done well with that. Oh well. Could have been worse if it went on just a little longer. Here, I'll take it. And that is pretty much going to do it for tonight. Right. And then I'll do more of this next week. 
And until then, I am Atele Toka, Spirit Officer Tasker, and I am going to go touch grass.